I want to start this video by talking about the name Machine Elves for a moment. I use this phrase because everyone online is familiar with it, but for a long time I did not know these entities were called Machine Elves. I just called them aliens. All of this will become a part of the Machine Elf Encyclopedia that I'm working on now. If you would like to sponsor this, please join 434 on Patreon, Subscribestar or finance it through PayPal and cryptocurrencies. If you would like to hear some of my personal stories, go to my second YouTube channel. Also join me on all social media so that we can stay in contact. Every link is in the video description. I did not know much about Terence McKenna and I did not know that he coined this phrase. In fact, in 2015, no one online knew about mushroom-induced alien contact. There were some occasional posts on shroomery, but nothing concrete. After my first contact with them, I spent months googling it and every time I posted something about mushroom aliens on forums, the Psychonaut community would react with disbelief. A lot has changed since 2015. The reason I'm okay with using the name Machine Elves now is that it perfectly describes what they are. I'm usually in contact with god entities and powerful energy beings, but I'm also being visited by small bionic aliens made of living tissue and mechanical parts. You could call them elves or dwarves. It is very difficult to explain what they look like, but they're partially machines. Living robots is probably the best way to describe them. Unlike for others, they do not morph in my presence. They stay in the same form and have the same appearance, sometimes returning a few times throughout the trip, always looking the same. Their technology is a big part of my contact with them. Not only are they mechanical in nature, but also they use a lot of machinery and spaceships. In fact, their dimensions are very digital. There's a lot of repetitive regular shapes, interactive fractal symmetry and well-defined mathematical precision in everything. In my previous video, How I Talk to Machine Elves, I described how the entities use their interdimensional machinery to send and process answers to my questions. These devices are so complex and beautiful that it is virtually impossible to describe them using human language. There is nothing in this reality I could use as a reference. They are these giant morphing metaphysical furnaces generating beautiful psychedelic power with tubes and connectors sending energy through time and space. The fascinating thing is that these machines are an integral part of those dimensions and once they start working they suck me in and my consciousness goes on a trip inside the trip, becoming a part of the answer generating operation which allows me to see the machine from the inside while being a part of the process. There are no words that can describe this, mainly because these machines are more like a manifestation of the energy flow rather than an object made of matter. As I mentioned, some machine elves travel in spaceships. Sometimes when they want to show me something, they invite me on board and we travel to other dimensions. I was so happy and surprised when one day I was contacted by a girl called Starpilot33, who is the only other person who knows about machine elf spaceships. Not only does she know about them, but she also flies and fixes them. From the beginning, our contact has been filled with a lot of synchronicities. Although she lives on another continent and we never met, it turned out she lives down the road from my favorite pizza place in the city I go to for a vacation. The distance between our houses is exactly 4,304 miles. She's a writer and we both wrote a novel on the same subject and the title of her novel is the name of my favorite record I used to play as a DJ. I asked her to tell you about her experiences and she will be the first 434 guest on this channel. She's been recreating the spaceships in 3D that I'm going to show you now and here's her message. Hello everyone, this is Starpilot33 and I'm incredibly honored to be 434's first guest speaker. I was intrigued by the 434 videos and I had to write him a message with some of my own experiences like so many of you. Like 434, my experience is solely with psilocybin mushrooms. Since the very first time I've seen the machine elves, but for me, they're not the impish, mischievous entities that I've heard described with DMT. I'll also say that I only use one or one and a half grams. I don't want to be a hero. The best journeys I've ever had have been on lower doses, actually. My experience with the machine elves is that they're wise with a luminous, changing, fractal form that takes on geometric patterns and shapes that are recognizable as a being in that they have a head and eyes and things like that. But I'm not here to talk so much about the machine elves themselves as their spaceships, their vehicles. 434 said it right in one of our messages. The machine elves are all about their vehicles. 
When I first tried magic mushrooms, I knew nothing about them. I had never heard of Terence McKenna and literally knew only one person who'd ever done them. So I knew nothing about machine elves until researching it after the fact. That's when I realized that it was a pretty common experience. But the interaction with the machine elves spaceships is apparently something more uncommon. Although maybe more of you have seen them and will tell your story after seeing this, hopefully. One thing I feel like I really need to say here is that whether it's talking about machine elves themselves or their spaceships, you can't go into a mushroom experience with any kind of expectations about what you want to have happen. The mushrooms know what you need, and they're going to take you where they want to take you based on what you need. With that disclaimer said, and for whatever reason, the mushrooms have decided that flying the machine off spaceships is something I need to do. When I've taken the mushrooms, usually just crushed and chugged with some orange juice, I know, it's awful, I talk to them as they're slowly taking effect and I say, I'm blessed to be able to journey this evening. Whatever you have in store for me, I know it's exactly what I need, even if it's hard. And I always add, and I know I can't expect anything, but I'd really love to fly one of your spaceships again. I get the feeling that they're amused at this request, and maybe that's why they threw me right into training from the second time I did Magic Mushrooms. Eight years later, it's more mission-oriented than training, but I'm still learning way more than I'm doing. Each ship is so incredibly unique. I was fortunate to have flown two that were similar ones, and that was great because I didn't feel totally lost and I actually remembered a few things from the last time. The machine elves like to give tests, and from what I understand, it's more for their amusement than anything else. They've asked me to do things that I had no idea how to do, and my efforts were really what they wanted to see. Once they asked me to fix one of their ship's engines, as we can even call them that, and this was with my eyes open too. Two entities came with a quote, engine that didn't work right and they wanted my help as if I had any clue what to do. The best I could do was draw them or sculpt one out of the air. And when it was done, as far as I could tell it was done, the test was to see if it worked. Apparently it did and they were happy with that. I never saw the ship that it was a part of. It was like they brought me the engine, drive, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it doesn't work like anything we know here. They use light spectrum frequencies that correspond with sound vibrations and frequencies somehow. I don't know. They do something like that the way our engines work with fuel and air. But here's what I can tell you about them uh, from what I've understood. The machine elves are very proud of their vehicles, and most of them don't look anything like we think of when we say the word spaceship. Some have a flying machine-like shape, if you think more of an insect shape than an airplane, but others look more like a mix of things that words can barely describe. If you can imagine an old steam engine locomotive, and then cross that with a cathedral silver pipe organ, and then mix that with the slot machine floor of a casino with all the lights and colors, you'd get a rough idea of what one of them looked like on the inside. One thing I'm sure of is that these ships are a creation of the machine elves, and yet they have an entity of their own. Maybe that's why the machine elves are so proud of them. There's a sort of parent-child relationship with them, and I get the feeling that these ships are not really used as a source of transportation for the machine elves at all. It's more like they're partners with them in their mission, whatever that may be. I've been fortunate enough to not only go for a ride in one of these ships, and maybe some of you have also, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to know more about them and actually fly them, I don't remember actually asking the machine elves if I could, but they just sort of knew what I was thinking and I found myself several times in a sort of training school with other creatures, none of which were human, in any of the training scenarios, and this was over several different mushroom journeys. The machine elves seemed amazingly okay with just letting me learn about the spaceships and even learn about the way they work and their engines, and here's what I can tell you. The spaceships are incredibly powerful. They can transcend dimensions even within the dimension you find yourself in while on a mushroom journey. But their mission isn't to take you somewhere. It's the flight itself that's actually important. There's a communication with the spaceships, and it's completely immersive. You're literally plugged in, and you see what it sees, and you know what it knows. You're a required component of the ship while actually operating it, and you have the knowledge of everything you need to know about it in that time. Of course, when it's all over, you'll be lucky if you can remember much of anything. The last journey I was on, I was getting ready to fly one of these ships, and I was on a table, and the entities were attaching some sort of multicolored IV lines into my arm, and when I asked them what they were for, they said, we have to make sure you're wired in. 
I was never wired in before, but with each experience, it's been a little deeper and further. And this time after being wired in, I was able to do some things with the spaceships that I was not able to previously. I hope someone out there knows what I mean. And if so, I can't wait to hear your comments. I could go on and on about this, but I only have limited time. Thank you, 434, for all you've done and for connecting so many people. See you on the other side. Thank you for watching, and if you would like to know more, please watch all of my videos. Love, 434.